Hi, I'm Sean McVay with Sean's Outdoor Adventures and I want to welcome you to this episode in my series on how to hunt whitetail deer. Today I'm dipping into the archive a little bit and I'm going back a few years to a hunt that I went on in Illinois. And the theme of this is to know when to keep calling. Know when to keep calling at that deer. In this particular situation, I had three days to be in Illinois, so my time was tight. I was in the stand all day the first day, really bad weather, high winds, and near the end of the hunt, I spotted a buck uh, far off in the distance. I began to call to the buck, and the buck went out of sight almost immediately. But I played in my mind what I thought the buck was doing, and I continued calling. Now, the reason I didn't air this episode before is because I play this hunt in my video for sale on how to call whitetail deer where I show you how I call this buck in and um, I didn't want to you know duplicate it on my channel here but if you're interested in how the technique I use to call this buck and you can get that video if you want but my point here is I just want to share with you sometimes you have to keep calling at that deer when the conditions and the situation are right so that's what I did in this situation and eventually I look up and that buck started to come my way Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm so cold because I've been sitting out here. It's like uh, 30 something degrees. Um, anyway, I'm, I'm happy. And that was an exciting hunt for me, calling that deer in. I took the shot right there, it's about a 20 yard shot. And hopefully I had the video camera angle using the video camera. Uh, but I hit him, he ran off that way. I'm gonna give him some time and uh, see if I can find him. Praise the Lord, that was exciting. I was a little nervous because I didn't see my arrow where I shot him. Then I came up in through the woods and found it and it's good blood on that arrow there. I mean, that is, oh man, that's a good hit there it looks like. I think I'm in good shape. Um, give him a little time and then track him. Well, here he is. He's a nice big body deer. Uh, I'm definitely happy with him. So we'll we'll have good a good meal in the near future. If you've watched my video on how to read topo maps and aerial photos to re find hunting hotspots, I talk about this spot. This is a funnel that I picked in Illinois and I shot two bucks at that same exact spot. I mean, they were within a few feet of each other from where I shot one and the other. So that just goes to show that sometimes scouting and reading maps can help you, in, you know, narrow down on a good spot but also having that skill set of being able to call and know when to keep calling can really play to your favor. I'll also say this, there are a lot of situations where you have to stop calling. So 
Those of you who have those years of experience, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, watch my video on how to call whitetail deer. I have one for free on YouTube and I have one for sale on my website. The one on my website has multiple hunts in it in the video, so I expand on a lot of things I share in the free version. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, take care and God bless.